All right, now to our all-important weekend weather here. Lonnie Quinn talking about an active and tough day tomorrow. Potentially for some folks, I think it's tomorrow afternoon that we're going to keep our eye on. Yeah, it's an okay weekend. I think Sunday's definitely the better day, but tomorrow could have some issues, and I'll show you what we're talking about. After this great day today, we now have a great night outside. It's mild. It's 77 degrees, and you're just fine. You know, starting off your day tomorrow morning as you push into the afternoon hours, humidity, storms return to the area. There's a 20% chance for a severe storm tomorrow. Maybe not for everybody at the same time. They're going to be spotty out there. Even a 2% chance for a tornado. I know that's small, but again, uh, it's a significant percentage for our area. Sunday, overall, just the better half of the weekend. So let's get right into it. How does it play it out and how does it time out? You're fine right now. You're fine really in the morning. Maybe a little passing, not much of anything in the morning. But as you get to the afternoon with the heating of the day and the instability of a front in our area, here you go. I mean, you start sparking some possible heavy downpours, okay? But you can count them, one, two, three, four. I can't tell you they're gonna be clustered right here in, in Monmouth and Middlesex County, but it's giving you the idea that some folks are free from the rain, some folks have the rain, some folks have a light rain, some folks even could, could potentially have a stronger cell. That's two o'clock, from two o'clock until six o'clock, I think that story remains the same. Then you'll catch a little break, then we're watching a trailing system come in. This one seems to even come in stronger. I mean, here we are, 10 p.m., Saturday night, it's rolling in, you know, anywhere from Hunter and County pushing up even into possibly, you know, Ulster and Dutchess County. 10 p.m. right there, as it starts to encounter the ocean air, it's going to lose some of its energy, but maybe not all of its energy. Here you are, 2 o'clock in the morning, and the cell lingers out around, say, Nassau County, and then it clears out going into Sunday, and Sunday's got less than a 10% chance of much of anything. So how much rain do we pick up? on Saturday. It looks like this. You're going to look for these streaks. And, and again, we're not certain where the streaks are going to set up. Uh, the IBM graph is saying it's setting up north of the area. You're looking at about an inch around Monticello, uh, 1.2 for New York City. The trend here is, even though you see, you see 1.6 for Belmar, the farther south you go, there's less. Like Atlantic City may be just fine all day tomorrow. And if you look at how the HER is handling things, it's very similar. Lower number south, bunch of zeros out there, maybe two inches in the city. They think that's where the heaviest cell will be. And then you're an inch up around Poughkeepsie. So across the board, we are giving that a yellow alert tomorrow. And the potential there is for severe storms, spotty in the area, but they could have storms that are strong enough to maybe do some damage out there. And then it clears, and Sunday's a good looking day at 88. Monday, I think the daytime hours are fine. Monday night, you look at a rain chance that could linger into Tuesday. And then I think it's Tuesday morning. By Tuesday afternoon, things clear. And right now, from what I see, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week look to be great. Can you believe we're already in the middle of August? August. <sighs> September, here we come. I know. Back to school. I'm still, listen, I'm still trying to get over turning 60, okay, people? Oh, man. That one got me. All right. Well, we'll give you a minute, Lonnie. Yeah, <laughs> Catch my breath. <laughs>